There's a couple of spots that are dangerous here. So now it's it's track time. It's gonna be so cool. Okay. You wanna put the Sennheiser? No. Why not? I like the feeling. The uh, okay, uh, I thought it's not possible to. <laughs> it is, it is. I mean, after a few minutes, it starts hurting. But... So we always start in race safe, so hybrid mode means electric drive. Yeah. And if you need the power and push the pedal, the engine will, engine will stop. Okay. Yeah. Already in this? Already in this. Okay. Ready. You're ready? Good. We now always start at hybrid. So. This means I can go already? You can go. Put in first gear. Where's the first gear? <laughs> ah, here. Uh, right pedal for two seconds. There you go. Okay. Oh, really? Driving the AMG1. Insane. Temperatures. This is the 17 engineers that were mentioned before exactly. for the software. Yeah. So two in the front for the e-motors, one for the battery, the engine itself. Um, we have an engine at the crankshaft. An engine at the crankshaft. Electric motor at the crankshaft, exactly, yeah. and at the turbocharger. Okay. Okay. No, good steering angle on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It's fine. How much horsepower do I have fully electric? Uh, two times 120 kilowatt. Yeah. It's 240 kilowatt. Yeah. Is how much? 140, 150 horsepower? Yeah, so a bit over 300 horsepower on the front axle. Yeah. But I do full power, there's not much, huh? No, it's coming, it's coming because there's only one gear. Yeah. And it's designed for 350 for maximum speed, so it's the torque comes later. If you go faster, you get more torque and. Really? Yeah, and it gets faster. Okay. Because it's a one gear front axle. So how does the Remac do it? Why does the Remac torque come It's a instantly? two gear. They shift. Really? Yeah, we don't shift. Okay. Because of weight and and costs. Okay. So we decided to, to go for one gear front axle. Okay. Okay, so now I want to switch the engine on. So I twist the... One kick to the right. No, two kicks. Two oh, kicks. Let's try hybrid first. I mean, that's the thing on and off engine. Yeah, which is this race, yeah, exactly. race safe, huh? Yeah. And they will go on when I demand what? Power? Power. Okay. Pedal to the metal and we turn on the Pedal engine. to the metal. Okay. What a complicated thing that it has this one gear for EV and then... Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the most complex car on planet right now. Okay. Engine on! Yeah! Woo! It's so awesome because it brings all the memories back with the <laughs> with the engine sound. Insanely cool. Huh? Whatever you want. That's insanely cool. Yeah. Hey, it's a little bit noisy now when I calm down. EV mode. No engine is needed. Incredible. This one, two clicks to the left. So traction control off. And only. Also ESP only, off. Only okay, available hang on in track everybody, mode. Hang on, everybody. Only in track mode, yeah. Okay, but that's not Mercedes philosophy. No, it isn't. That was AMG and uh, <clears throat> to say I came in with 
so many horsepowers yeah. and uh, that car, kind of special car. Okay. Uh, we decided not to turn off the ESP in, in hybrid. Okay. Uh, we, we only can do that in, in uh, okay. track, track mode. To keep people safe. Yeah. So what is your favorite place to go um, test the cars? That Des one? Destination. Portimao. Portimao racetrack. I mean, yeah. So that car on Portimao is perfect. Uh, I mean, not sure for sure, yeah. But um, Portimao is a wonderful place. It's like a roller coaster. They raced Formula One there as well, right? No. Uh, they did, they did in the past. I think in COVID times, they raced yeah. one or two years. Yeah. One or two seasons, yeah. So my uh, very good childhood friend is uh, Maro Engel. And ah, he, did, uh, he, he did the lap record. He did the, the lap record in Norsef, yeah. no? And this yeah, everywhere, lap, this, everywhere. This lap record is what? I mean, the time? No, yeah. It's I don't have the time. To, in, compared in to what or what, what is it? So it's Fastest not only... road car lap ever, no what? Yes. Fastest, Fastest road, road legal car, car ever. ever. Road legal and, car. Exactly. And it's not a few tens of a second. Yeah. It's four or five seconds faster than every other road legal car. Okay, Unter Türkheim, this is where we are now. It's one of the oldest test tracks in the whole of the world. Um, and it's the headquarters of Mercedes. So Mercedes CEO, I just wrote him an email. Hey, I'm here uh, if you want to come by after your work uh, to say hi. Um, but I just wrote it now, so unlikely. Anyways, his office is there, it's Ola. And uh, so I'm very excited because I'm going to take it out now. And for the first time, I can really, really push the car here. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I got a little feel for the acceleration just there and it was insane. But I was not even pushing, you know, so let's see what the car's got now. Okay, so there's a couple of spots that are dangerous here. A bit tricky, I would say. <laughs> not dangerous, <laughs> not wrong, dangerous. wrong word, huh? <laughs> wrong word. Okay, so that's going into the, into the big angled, what do you call it in English? A bank curve? Banking. 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 And how have, you, how have I done track mode? I did already. How? Uh, with changing, we can do it if you would like to do yeah, of course, it right yeah, now. Sure, sure. Okay, so stay here, yeah. and then... Hang on a second. Foot on the brake. Yeah. One to the left. Yeah. And then hold the pedal. Yeah. Until it's confirmed. Means we check all the aero parts. Louvre, wing flap, wing itself. Now it's done. Okay. And you go back in track. Go one click to the right. But now it's, now it's normal. Now it's highway. Now it's highway. Exactly. Okay, and now we go track mode. One to the right. Bam, track mode. And then hold it. Okay. And then we switch. But why is the car going up? Now it's going down. Down? Yeah, it feels like it's going up, but it's going down. Now we in track. Manual. Manual. Okay. Top vectoring is off. And there's one thing. You see the state of charge is low. Yeah. I would say... Charge button is on, it's running, yeah. and we do it nice and easy, okay. and then we charge the battery. Let's go. So he has to go in front of us. Yeah, let's go. Some different car now. And is it stiffer than yeah, Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I would have a 20. 
Where do I go now? Up? Follow him. Up? Yeah, to the white line. Go left, go left, go left, go left. Important the highlight most of the day. important highlight is missing. So open the we open the tech panel right now. Yeah. How do we do that? To do that here with a button. Okay. Yeah. You hear a click. Then we start with the left side. Hot. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. What a beast! This has nothing to do with a road car, huh? No. Look at this. No. 
So the engine. Jeez, this is crazy. The engine is down there. This is cr totally crazy. No wonder it was a little bit of a mission. I have one good news. I heard so many negative things about the upshifting. Yes. Yeah. And actually, it's like it's a little delay, but it's nothing. You think it's, it's delaying, fine. but it's while fine. shifting, open yeah. the clutch, putting in yeah. next gear, no, no, and closing clutch, it's totally we fine. shift the torque from the yeah. rear to the front axis. So there is, you feel ah, a delay, why. but the torque is constantly. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Okay. Because I thought, it, I, I was expecting something bad, but actually it's fine. It's good. Okay, so, so I, can, I, can re I can already tell Maybe. the secret. <laughs> so they have taken a piece from the waste gate. Um, from my original Melbourne race winning engine and have mounted it into here. Is it really? And we can't find and we and we can't find it. You can't find it. <laughs> not even the not even the expert can find it. <laughs> Should we just say it's there like it is. It is there, but maybe it's behind the This is you look into it. here and it, it's just it's a race car, it has nothing to do with a road car. Mm -hmm. Like I'm surprised that this can be um, an everyday driver. I see it, I see it from here. From here you can see it. Okay. Go here, look through that hole. Yeah. And you see that golden yeah, yeah, of course. golden part. You see yeah, of it? Of course, yeah. That's it. That's the part from your engine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So right, which we got it. So it's the wastegate actuator. The wastegate oh, actuator. Which, exactly. Which difficult. I want to drop the phone, yeah. Wait. You see it? Yeah. Uh, Rubino. Nothing happening. Huh? Yeah. So you have it? Has a Haftpflichtversicherung? Yeah. No, I don't think you have it, Rubino. <laughs> it's this golden thing, no? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah, there, there, you, you got it. it. I have it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, su uh, really super awesome, huh? like seriously super awesome. So what's what's my my outro? I mean, I'm really impressed by the power. Yeah, so 1,065 horsepower, 63, 1,063 horsepower. I think the handling. I didn't really feel the maximum of the handling, but I, it felt really awesome. Uh, actually, quite on the edge, like quite uh, quite racy, like really really racy. Um, I love the. I mean, the technology, the whole software thing is insane. Huh? How this electric track mode engine on engine off like I was driving through the city you know and I wanted some peace and quiet relax boom electric could go all the way um, and it has to shift to one single long gear in electric and then when you go back to engine it shifts to seven gears you know completely different gear set which is also like massively complicated so as they say it's the most complex car that there is in the world at the moment um, so yeah I mean uh, really love also the, the way the color combination is has come about with the interior exterior is super awesome um, cool to have that little uh, th that piece in there, uh, wastegate actuator um, from my actual original F1 engine that I won the Melbourne race with. So that's super, super special, incredible huh? that you can take a Formula One piece and uh, a, fu a fundamental Formula One piece at the engine and put it into this. Um, so congrats, Mercedes, on such a cool hypercar. It was worth the wait. I can say that. Come on, even if it's I don't know. It was four or five years waiting now because it was supposed to be ready. I think 2019 or 2020. It was worth the wait. It's epic. Uh, very proud to have the car. Um, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Did I miss anything, Martin? Yeah. Damn. That? <laughs> <laughs> so this is not my fault. It's the pants that they it automatically opens. So whilst I was trying to which color would you have chosen or have I absolutely nailed it? This is what I want to know from you. And are you happy that I'm YouTubing again? The YouTuber, the Monaco YouTuber is back. Are you happy? <laughs>